Hello viewers, I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the self-pip reading, reading for viewpoints, which is the task four of the reading subsection. Majority of my clients, candidates, in fact, find it difficult along with the task three. So just before I get started, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and smash the like button and do comment below. This way I'll be able to come up with more such valuable videos in the future. Let's get started without wasting much time. All right, self-pip reading for viewpoints. It's all about German cars. Francis Goodwin, CEO of Audi, Eastern Branch claims that German cars are the most popular ones in the world due to the demand, but also due to the very basics of human needs that are included relating to comfort, performance, and luxury. He deems these aspects of cars essentially to provide value. The pros outweigh the concerns with expenses associated with German cars, according to his opinion. So you have to understand the paragraphs viewers, otherwise it's going to be really difficult. Please understand the reading by understanding the paragraphs properly. So in the first paragraph, Francis Goodwin, the CEO of Audi Eastern Branch claims that the German cars are most popular ones in the world due to its demand, but also due to the very basics of human needs that are included relating to comforts, performances and the luxury that it gives, right? So that is in the first paragraph. Paragraph two, George Pallister, Chief Financial Officer at St. Jose Toyota's branch has quite the contrary opinion. For George, financial conditions of the people are something to be catered to. He believes when reasonably reasonable reliability or warranties are offered, savings in the long term as well as in the short term go through the roof. In a good way, car maintenance, repairs or even the purchases of new car are things that are not deemed necessary if the ride can push beyond 200,000 kilometers. Reliability is one of the Toyota's chief offerings. It is also something that the German car manufacturers really need to compete against. So this paragraph is all about not only the comfort, performance and luxury, it's all about the maintenance of the car and how much can it run, say for instance, 200,000 kilometers and the reliability of the car is very important according to Toyota's chief financial officer because everybody does not have the kind of money that needs for an Audi or a BMW or maybe a German car, right? So paragraph three, but what about profitability? It would seem that with the majority of people owning Japanese cars all over, all over the world, Pallister would score in this area. Nonetheless, it's possibly the competitors who may maintain an edge. The quality and value claimed by Goodwin, delivered by companies like Audi, Mercedes, and BMW, insists a certain price level, which albeit paid by a few results in the needed numbers to keep the German car companies in the lead. Areas such as interior, comfort, the shine, and elegance all come at the price tag that investors and CEOs of companies like in Audi and their relationship. So, in this paragraph, it's all about not only the comfort, performance plus luxury, but it's also about the elegance and the interiors, the kind of shine the cars have, which the uh, majority of the CEOs who purchase these uh, high-end cars relish. They like it. Fourth paragraph, statistically, in terms of safety ratings, once again, German cars are a step ahead. The giant German car industry goes through intense testing, innovation, and safety protocols to ensure security. Nonetheless, George is adamant that despite this area, where the winner is debatable, Japanese cars have the overall edge in terms of being the available product for the majority, which automatically labels them as winners in the race of car manufacturers. Nevertheless, if the profitability of both competitors 
is noted, he might not be completely accurate. So we saw that in this paragraph, it's all about the safety ratings and also about the uh, immediate availability of the cars in the market, which is what is uh, the fourth paragraph is um, uh, inferring to. All right. Complete each statement by selecting the best option. Question number one. In terms of profitability, A, Goodwin prefers charging people more for German cars. B, Japanese cars do much better due to more sales. C, Goodwin clearly wins the debate. D, German cars may have an edge. So, in terms of profitability, we are talking about profitability and we saw that the profitability was mentioned in the fourth paragraph. Nowhere else the profitability is mentioned. Nevertheless, if the profitability of both competitors is noted, he might not be completely accurate. So for question number one viewers, the answer is D. All right. So question number two. Francis Goodwin, A, has made a pros and cons list. B, thinks that the pros of German cars cost more. C, feels the high cost of German cars is justified. D, claims that German cars offer more warranties. So we saw about Francis Goodwin in the first paragraph. And then we also saw it in third paragraph. So we have to remember this. So where there is a mention of the Francis Goodwin, whatever he says, what he says about the German cars. Okay. So in the paragraph A, Francis Goodwin, CEO of Audi's Eastern branch, claims that German cars are the most popular ones in the world due to the demand, but also due to the very basics of human needs that are included relating to comfort, performance and luxury. So in paragraph C, but what about profitability? It would seem that with the majority of people owning Japanese cars all over the world, Palliser would score in this area and unless it's profit, it's possibly the competitors who may maintain an edge, the quality and value claimed by Goodwin, delivered by companies like Audi, Mercedes and BMW, insist a certain price level, which albeit paid by a few results in the needed numbers to keep the German car companies in the lead. So Francis Goodwin, what does he say? He feels that high cost of the German cars is justified, even though it's high. Uh, he says it in the uh, third paragraph. So the answer is C. All right. Still, uh, German cars are on the lead. And uh, that's what he says. He feels high cost of German cars is justified. C is the right answer for the question number two. Pallister does not care too much about the safety ratings. B is concerned about the safety ratings. C has Self-assurance that his industry leads the race. D is a very stubborn person. So wherever there is a mention of Palliser, we have to go and look at it. But what about the profitability? It would seem that with the majority of people owning Japanese cars all over the world, Palliser would score in this area. Nonetheless, it's possibly the competitors who may maintain an edge, the quality and value claimed by Goodwin. So here is where he says that has self-assurance that his industry leads the race. So C is the right answer. So he clearly mentions here. So he says it here itself. But what about the profitability? It would seem that with the majority of people owning Japanese cars all over the world, Pallister would score in this area. Yeah, because if you saw I mean, uh, majority of people cannot afford the German cars. So uh, Japanese cars are selling hotcakes, in fact, throughout the world. So for the C, Pallister does not has self-assurance that his industry leads the race. Because even though he says that, you know, uh, nonetheless, it's possibly the competitors who maintain an edge. So... He says that the competitors has an edge over the Japanese car. So we have to be make sure that 
whatever the question says, Palestine does not. So for that, has self-insurance that his industry leads the race. Okay, question number four. Francis Goodwin is the type of person who A, insists his customers pay more, B, is appreciative if his company revenues are good, C, is proud of German car safety ratings, D, debates George Pallister on what basic needs are. So Francis Goodwin is the type of person who So where there is a mention, we have to see. Okay. So Francis Goodwin, CEO of Audi's Eastern branch, claims that German cars are the most popular ones in the world due to the demand, but also due to the very basics of human needs that are included relating to comfort, uh, performance and luxury. He deems these aspects of the cars essentially to provide value. The pros outweigh the cons with expenses associated with German cars, according to his opinion. So Francis Goodwin is the type of person who is proud of German car safety ratings. So somewhere I read about the safety ratings as well. Okay. There was it mentioned. Safety. Yeah, here in the fourth paragraph. Statistically, in terms of safety ratings, once again, German cars are a step ahead. The giant German car industry goes through intense testing, innovation, safety protocols to ensure security. So <clears throat> Francis Goodwin is a type of person who is proud of German cars, safety ratings. All right. Question number five. Japanese cars, A, can push beyond 200,000 kilometers with no issues. B, offer more warranties than German cars. C, have more focus of on reliability as a selling point. D are preferred for long-term use. So I saw somewhere have more focus on reliability as selling point. So it's mentioned somewhere here about the reliability. Where was it? Yeah. So reliability is one of the Toyota's chief offerings. It is also something that German car manufacturers really need to compete against. So we got the answer. So C is the right answer for question number five. Okay, let's read the paragraph now. The following is a response by Vister to the website article. Pick the best answer to complete all blanks. Though I am not really a minimalist, I cannot help but dash. Question number six, A, support Francis, B, support George, C, support price tags. D, support justified prices. So what are we talking about here? Though I'm not really a minimalist, I cannot help but dash. So who is talking about it? I currently do drive a Mercedes. So the German uh, CEO is talking about this. So, so who is he? He is Francis Goodwin. So he's talking about George. So he is not completely agreeing the fact, though I'm not really a minimalist, I cannot help but, I cannot help but support George. So he's kind of um, supporting George as well. All right. I currently do drive a Mercedes and I can, I must tell you that the comfort I find in this car is out of this world. However, a Japanese automobile could have provided me dash, something is missing in Japanese cars. Which would that be? Q. Question number seven. A. More savings on maintenance. B. More warranties. C. More mileage. D. More luxury. So we are probably talking about more mileage here because it was clearly mentioned somewhere that it was about the mileage. Okay, they were talking about 200,000 somewhere, right? Kilometers. So that was it. Anyway. So the next question is, then again, it's also a matter. So you got the 
answer, I guess. So it should be the more mileage, all right? Okay, then again, it's also a matter of uh, the social world. Do I need to show off with my car or do I simply consider dash? Question number eight, A, worrying about mileage. B, joining the majority that does not. C, worrying about luxury. D, going for a car with no value. So it should be joining the majority that does not because he says then again it's also a matter of the social world do I need to show off so people love to show off with my car or do I simply consider consider joining the majority that does not show off okay so that should be the right answer okay honestly in future a change of a car may be necessary as I get older after retirement Dash will be an important factor as I believe uh, I, uh, I important factor as I live off what I have left. Safety will be will become another very crucial priority and considering dash. So honestly, in the future, a change of car may be necessary, he says. After retirement, dash. So question number Nine, after retirement, mostly people consider the cost of the car. So definitely they wouldn't be buying a car which is uh, like more than 40000 or $80,000 and things like that. So it should be the cost. B is the right answer. All right. Then comes your safety will become another very crucial priority. And considering the dash, it gives me more things to think about. So question number 10. A, Japanese cars offering more reliability. B, Japanese cars seem confident with their warranty. C, German cars are coming up with new safety measures. D, both industries rate high on safety. So, safety will become another very crucial priority and considering dash. Considering it should be German cars are coming up with new safety measures every day. Believe me, Germans are doing better than any other cars out there and they take care of the safety like anything. So viewers, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Once again, please do subscribe to my channel so that I can come up with more such videos in the future, which is going to benefit you. See you on the other side. This is Sridhar signing off from Self Academy. Thanks for watching.